Hello. I would like to show you the new follow-up dialog in SuperOffice. So let's go. I'm creating a new follow-up and here I can see the settings for the alarm, the owner and the visibility of this activity. Here is the title field. So this is a status meeting. So the status meeting is the title. The type is a customer meeting. Next, I have a unified field for company and contact. In this case, I know the contact person. So I search for Jeanette at UBC Cleaning and I add her. Next, we have the time and this will be, meeting will be at nine. I have more settings for uh, the timing options here. I can mark this as all day, free or busy, or I can work with a reoccurrence pattern. Do not repeat, or some default settings for daily, weekly meetings, or even customizable pattern. This dialogue is new, easier to work with. I can change some of the days to have a perfect fit. But this was not a reoccurring meeting, so I will cancel this one. Next, I will uh, connect this activity to uh, sale and the project. And I'm moving on to the agenda field. Here, I have the agenda that I would like to send to the customer in the invite. So now I can use bold here, I can have bullets, I can write unlimited text here. So looking forward. Next, we have the internal notes here and that's for internal notes. Here, I can add a timestamp, the user, and then I can add my notes here. Remember, birthday. <laughs> Next, we have the invite button. Now it's time to add attendees. You see here that Jeanette is already invited because she was connected to the meeting. I can add more attendees here and I can add the colleagues of mine here. So I will add Anna Brown, that's a colleague to me. And I can also add more people from UBC or companies other than that. I can add attendees from sales or projects if they are stakeholders or project members. I can also add any email address. So even though I have not registered a contact, I can uh, do like this. And that email will get the invitation. Next, I can choose to send the email to all or to none. In this case, I would like to send it. But hey, wait a minute, I have a conflict here for my colleague Anna Brown. She has a meeting at nine. Then I can see that I have some suggested time slots here, but I can also check the availability. And then I see that she has a meeting nine to 10. Let's start the meeting uh, quarter past 10, then we she will have some time in between. And you see here, the time is adjusted. Now let's move on. I can create the media link, video link here. If this was a video meeting, I can add resources or meeting rooms. I can add location. In this case, the meeting is at UBC Cleaning. All right, now it's time to send this invitation. Now I will get a preview here. And before I will send this preview, I can do some changes here. Maybe we can remove that. So now this is 
this is uh, a new imitation. This will not affect the original uh, activity that, that I made. But now I can save and send this. So that's how you can work with the new follow-up dialogue in Superoffice. Thank you.